Hey ladies, so excited to be here with you on Talk About It Tuesday. Before I go any further, if you didn't get a chance to watch what Erin shared yesterday around, um, I think it was Who Do You Think You Are is the title, go and do that. It is so good. It's just such a God moment thing um, that she shared yesterday. So I'd encourage you to watch that if you didn't get a chance. But if you're joining me here, I would love for you to wave hello in the comments. Let me know if you're here live or if you are watching the replay, um, just so we can get the conversation going. And you know, this is a community and I just, we just love knowing when you're here with us, um, again, either live or in the replay. So You'll see from the title that today I'm going to be talking about three things you need to do to let go of a sugar addiction. So kind of continuing with the theme of leaning, leaning, letting go and leaning in that we are focusing in here this month. Um, I feel like it's also a good kind of segue after um, decluttering week. So decluttering week last week, we were focused more on the stuff around our house, but sometimes we need to also declutter our body and struggling with the sugar addiction is one of the top things that we hear women want to get rid of. They want to let go of. So I'm going to share with you three things that you need to do if you want to let go of a sugar addiction. Um, before I do that, like, let us know in the comments if what you thought of, um, yeah, we're just type decluttering. If this idea about decluttering a sugar addiction from your life is just resonating with you. Okay, so here we go. Here are the three things you need to do if you want to let go of a sugar addiction. The first is you need to let go of doubt and fear. Now, I know that those are two things, but really they're connected because when you are afraid, that is going to spin you into doubt, um, which turns into unbelief. And this was such a huge part of my story. Um, the first, well, before I even thought about detoxing from sugar at all, or even knew it was a thing that somebody might want to do, I was like, I am never going to give up sugar. Like, I love all the sweet stuff, all the candy, all of that. So the idea of actually not doing it, of getting rid of it, I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. And then when... I was asking God to heal me of gut health issues. He was like, okay, um, go and detox from sugar. It was more like, you need to detox from sugar. <laughs> and I, yeah, I was like, I don't like that answer. I'm going to go do something else. Like, cause there was a, kind of a fear about it and just doubting, like, is this really going to work? Like, why would I want to put myself through something like that? That sounds no fun whatsoever. And there's no guarantee that I'm actually going to get the results that I want from that. So I was very much stuck in like doubt and fear and unbelief around it. So similarly, if that, if the idea of detoxing from sugar, addressing a sugar addiction calls up those feelings for you, it, you need to let them go because that is actually holding you back. Like operating whenever we choose to let the fear make the decisions for us, that is when we are going to stay in that pattern. Um, so whether that is with sugar or anything else, any other goal that you want to set, if you let fear dictate your actions, you will not move forward. You won't see the progress. And it's not that it isn't possible because it is, it's just the fear is keeping you in the same place where you are right now. The second thing that you need to do if you want to let go of a sugar addiction is to move out of isolation. So one of the things that, um, I, that just, I frequently hear from women and particularly, I think this is actually a bigger stronghold in the Christian community. I don't know about secular community. Um, I'm going to guess that there's a little bit less of this. But it just feels like the, there's this thing like, I, I just need to figure this out on my own. Like, I know I need to do it. I know there's the information out there on how to do it. But I, so therefore, I should just be able to figure out on my own. Um, and I'm going to tell you when there is something present like a sugar addiction, and it is something that has been had a hold over your life, especially for years, um, especially if it's tied to emotional eating. Um, if it's something that you have tried to address in the past and it still comes up for you and, and you're frustrated with that and it just, you always feel like defeated when you go through it, you need to step out of isolation and trying to figure it out on your own because that is actually a sign that 
the enemy is at work because he wants to keep you in isolation. Um, and you know, this is not something that is often talked about when it relates to a sugar addiction. Um, certainly you're not going to hear it in secular wellness culture because they don't even know about spiritual warfare. They'd be like, yeah, whatever, that's weird. Um, and then even within our churches, there's like, we know about spiritual warfare, but I feel like one of the things that doesn't get addressed is what that looks like on necessarily a practical daily level, especially when it comes to our health. So the enemy absolutely loves to press on those buttons because he knows it's not talked about that we often, um, I think as, especially as believers and um, women, like just assume that it's our fault. Like it's something personal we need to figure out or there's a problem with us. And I'm here to tell you it's not, which is why doing something like this in community is so important. Um, It helps to normalize some of those thoughts and the feelings. It also helps to bring encouragement through it um, because we are created, we are designed for community. I mean, if you even look at who God is, at his character, like he is a trinity, right? He could be perfect. He could be perfect just as God the Father, or just as Jesus, or just as the Holy Spirit, but he didn't choose that. He um, he is a trinity. And throughout the Bible, we never see like solo Christian heroes. There is always um, there, we're always meant to be in relationship with others. Like even Jesus wasn't solo. He had disciples. He even had like his inner core tribe within his disciples, even though he could have done everything that he needed to do on his own. So whenever we try to do things on our own, we're essentially denying that part of us. It's literally written into our DNA that we are designed for community, especially when there are battles like a sugar addiction. The last thing that you need to let go of to let um the last thing you need to let you need to do to let go of a sugar addiction is you need to let go of perfectionism and like whoa is this one huge especially like i hear time and time again um like if if you've ever tried to let go of a sugar addiction and you thought that it meant never kind of falling off track or eating more sugar than you intended or eating sugar at all like that's perfectionism and what i what i've noticed um consistently in hearing the stories from women is that that is what gets you to fall like to to not to not want to do it right to give up because you build up this mountain it's like i need to climb this mountain perfectly like i need to get over this and um never even have the desire to have sugar again or you know that when there's a celebration or a holiday i need to say no and deny myself and deprive myself of all the things and so approaching it from a mindset of doing it perfectly is actually going to just keep you stuck in the place that you are. So it's about learning to release that, to give yourself grace, to know what it actually means to step into authority over a sugar addiction from a place of joy and freedom and being able to do it for life, like not just, you know, a couple weeks or a month or continually like cycling through um, patterns of feast and famine when it comes to sugar for to added sugars. Um, so one of the reasons that I wanted to also share this is because you've probably been seeing us post about the summer cohort of the sugar addiction authority that our members in the Holy Healthy Christian Mom membership have asked us to do with them. Uh, so if, if this is the first time that you're hearing about this, I'll give you some really high level details. So in the, the Holy Healthy Christian Moms membership is a combination of a Netflix like library of programs that you can go through at your own pace. Um, it, it allows you to do it on the time frame that you want, at the time of day that you want, and even to go back to modules and lessons that you might want to get a refresher on at any point. And where Aaron and I are continually adding to that library. And the Sugar Addiction Authority is a 28 day program that is contained within that membership library. Um, it has a preparation week to show you how to go through the two weeks, the two suggested weeks of practicing no added sugars. And then it also walks you through what a reintroduction phase will look like and how to continue to stand in authority over a sugar addiction. Um, but that's not all that we, Aaron and I are committed to sustainable transformation in the ladies that the Lord brings for us. And we know that just giving you a library of programs is not going to cut it. Um, for the majority of people. And so 
not only do you have access to the programs as an actual member of Holy Healthy Christian Moms, but you also have access to group coaching. And that's where the community comes in. That's where the actual accountability and the support comes in so that you learn how to work through some of those things that are going to come up in the programs that we have in the library and so that you you don't feel isolated. It removes that, that you get to do that um, along with other women who totally understand, who are literally in it with you. And so our members, like recognizing how, how much of a, um, I don't know how deep that sugar addiction to sugar can run. They were like, we want to actually do this all together um, and like be intentional about that. So we wanted to honor that. So we're going to be starting to walk them through that June 1st. And then we were like, well, we know that there are other women out there that struggle with the sugar addiction and don't like it and want to learn how to be an authority over to it, over it, which is why we're also introducing it here um, to those of you in our Facebook community. So if kicking a sugar addiction is something that you're like, I want to be done with this battle. Like I want to learn how to step in authority over an addiction to sugar. I don't want to feel deprived. I don't want to feel depressed when I'm doing it. I want to feel um, freedom around it. I want to feel joy. I want to feel like if I want to have sugar, I can have it without like it spiraling me downward. Um, and I want to become wholly healthy. So if that is resonating with you, type SAA for Sugar Addiction Authority, type SAA in the comments to let us know that you want to learn more about that. Um, or you could reach out to me or to Aaron, or both of us, or through the Andrea Aaron profile um, and just say you want to learn more about that. And then we'll share more about the membership. The reason that, and just look quickly on that, the reason that the only way you can access this in the summer, co it, the summer cohort of it is by becoming a Holy Healthy Christian Mom member is again because we are about sustainable transformation. So we wanna work with women who are serious about becoming wholly healthy, and that is not gonna happen in a month. We wish it could. We know it's possible with Lord, like the Lord can make you wholly healthy in an instant. But from our own personal experience, it's a process and it's a refining process. It's actually a sanctifying process as well. So that is why the only way we will offer access to this is actually coming in to the whole membership itself because then Aaron and I are, that it just feels right to us. I, doing it any other way, it just feels like we're gonna hold out another Band-Aid solution and there's bazillions of those out there in the wellness industry and we don't want Band-Aid solutions for you. We know you don't want Band-Aid solutions. Um, so the membership allows you time to work through these things, to become wholly healthy and to actually, when it comes to something like a sugar addiction, really authentically stand in authority over it for life. Again, not just for hot moment. So, so yeah. So if you are interested in that type SAA or, um, the membership and we will get in touch with you about that and we would hope to welcome you in. We're going to be kicking it off. Um, I think June 1st is next Wednesday, <laughs> whatever, whatever day of the week, June 1st is, that's when we're going to be kicking it off. So we have just over a week to get you the details and, um, help you determine if it's the right fit for you. So ladies, it was such a privilege to be here with you today. And if you have any other questions about that, just drop those in the comments. All right, bye.